So we're back with part 8. And all we're going to do to start off with is we're just going to go to the floor above the swimming pool. And to begin with on this floor, we're just going to go to the second pillar out. And diagonal to that block, we're just going to place six blocks out with our white wall. And the same on the other side. Then on either side, we're going to place one block. And then you want to leave a two block space and place one more block in the centre. And finish this section off, we're just going to extend all the rows of white wool we just placed. And in the front two sections, we're just going to place two rows down from the roof. And in the two by two spaces we've got left, we're just going to place two wooden doors in either section. Then on the other side we're just going to place three torches diagonal to all the doors. So one on either corner and one in the centre as well. Then diagonal to the corner blocks, we're just going to place three high with our oak leaves. And the same on the other side now. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be dividing up the two rooms. So from the centre here, we're just going to place white wool all the way across and you want to build it up to the next floor. Now that we've built that up, we can sleep and then start on filling in the rest of the room. The first thing we're going to be doing in this room is we're going to be marking out the bathroom 
So from a corner here, we're just going to count 8 blocks out. And then on the 8th block, we're just going to place our white wall all the way across to the glass. And then we're just going to build it up. Now that we've built it up, we're just going to place a doorway for our bathroom. So from the corner of the bathroom, we're just going to count two blocks in. And on the third block, we're just going to place a 2x2 two two door. So now just to add our doors in the space. And on either side, you should want to place one torch next to the door. Then you should want to count three blocks away from the torch. And on the third block, we're just going to place a fence post with two oak leaves on top. And the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to actually start work on the inside the bathroom. So to start off with, we're going to place our bath in here. So from the glass here, we're just going to count four blocks out with our sandstone. And on the fifth block, we're just going to place a row across the back. So just another three blocks of sandstone there. Then you just want to go around the sandstone and place your sandstone slabs. And finish off, you just need to place your water inside the bath now. The next thing in here we're going to place is our toilet. So leaving a one block space next to the wall. We're just going to place a white wall block with a trapdoor on top. So same design as what we've used so far for all of the bathrooms. The next thing we're going to be doing then is we're going to be placing two sinks. And for this we're going to be using our cauldrons. So across the back, we're just going to count four blocks across, and on the fourth and fifth block, we're just going to place two cauldrons. And on either side, you just want to place one block of snow.
So next to the cauldrons then, we're just going to place 3x2 with our chests. And to finish off then, in front of the cauldrons, we're just going to place 4x2 with our wooden pressure plates. Then by the toilet, we're just going to place one button on the left hand side. After this, we're just going to place a torch diagonal to the doors. So now that we've finished our bathrooms, we can start to work on the bedrooms. So for this, we're just going to place our oak leaves, and you just want to count 5 blocks away. And on the 5th block, we're just going to place a marker with our oak leaves. And then you just want to extend it backwards all the way to the glass. Then we're just going to build it up 3 blocks high overall. Then we're just going to go to the edge of our oak leaves. And we're just going to place our oak leaves all the way across again to the glass. The next thing we're going to do then is we're actually going to divide it up. So we're just going to find the centre which is the seventh block across. And on the seventh block we're just going to place our oak leaves all the way across to divide up so it's two separate rooms. So again, building our oak leaves really high and just placing it all the way across. Next then, we're going to create a 3x2 space for our doorway. So you just want to leave a one block space and then we're just going to place it there. And you want to do exactly the same for the other room as well.
At the back then, we're just going to place four wide with our nether brick. So you just want to leave a one block space on the left hand side, and then you want to just place your four nether brick. And on the two center slab, on the two center blocks, we're just going to place two nether brick slabs, and then two beds in front of that, with two nether brick slabs in front of that again. And on the outside two blocks then, we're just going to place a never brick fence post. Then you just want to place a never brick slab on top. After this then, we're going to place two double chests across the back wall. So one above each other. And to finish off this room then, we're just going to place one fence post diagonal to the backboard of the bed. Then you just want to place a wooden pressure plate on top. So that's all we're going to do for this room and we're just going to go and start on the next room now. So for this room then we're going to use a similar design but instead of the never brick blocks we're going to use our birchwood planks. So at the back again we're going to start off by placing four wide with our birchwood planks. Then placing two birchwood slabs across the centre two blocks. And then your two beds in front with your slabs in front of that again. And on the outside two blocks, same as before, we're going to use our fence post, but we're going to use wooden fence posts rather than never brick fence posts. Next then we're going to place our chests same as before and we're also going to add a small table as well. So for the table then it's going to be a slightly different design as we're just going to place two fence posts with two pressure plates on top and you just want to place it in that small space there. Then behind that you just want to place two birch wood stairs. And that finishes off the table. After this then we're just going to place two lots of two chests in the same place as we had it before. Now that we've done our bedrooms, we can start to work on the main section of the room. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide up the room again. So you just want to count five blocks away from the door. And on the fifth block, we're just going to place our oak leaves. And you want to place them three high. And we're going to place it all the way to where our bedrooms are. And you just want to place it one block in front of that. So again building it up three blocks high.
And in the main living room, we're going to create a large TV across the back wall now. For the TV then, we're just going to start off by leaving a one block space next to the window. And then you just want to place two high with your black wall. And next to that, leaving a one block space again. We're just going to place five wide with our bookshelves. And then you just want to place two high with your black wall again. And on top of your bookshelves then, we're just going to place five by three with our black wall. And on the two speakers on the sides, we're just going to place two buttons on either block. And you just want to place a torch in either corner to finish off this section. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing our sofa in front of a TV. So for this again we're going to be using our orange wool and we're also going to be using our stone slabs. So to begin this then we're just going to count six blocks out from the centre space between our speaker and TV and then you just want to go two blocks back so it's in line with our torch and then behind this block we're just going to place one more block and then you just want to extend this out another four blocks and then on the last block we're going to extend that out another five blocks so it's six blocks in length overall And then in the space we can place our stone slabs to finish off the sofa. And next to the sofa we just placed then, we're going to place another sofa. So leaving a one block space and then going diagonal. We're just going to place two back and then you just want to extend it four blocks across. Then in the space we're just going to place our stone slabs as we, ha as we have so far. Once you place this sofa then in front of this, we're just going to place a small coffee table. And for this, we're going to use our spruce wood slabs. And you just want to place three blocks diagonal to each other. And behind the sofas we've just placed then, we're going to place another sofa. So counting four blocks away from the edge here. And on the fourth block, we're going to place a marker with our orange wool. Then to the right of that, you just want to place another four blocks. So it should be a three block space next to the oak leaves. And then in front of that, you just want to place another four blocks. And then place your corner pieces and your stone slabs in the space remaining. Next to the sofa we just placed then, you just want to place five blocks across the back with our orange wool. And then you just want to place four blocks in front of that. So this sofa is going to be 5x5 five five overall.
and then we're going to place one more sofa across the back. So you just want to come one block out and then diagonal and here we're just going to place five wide for our sofa. Then just our stone slabs in the centre to finish it off. And in the centre space then you just want to place five wide with our oak slabs. And to finish this room off then we are just going to place our glowstone to add a bit more light to the room. So with our glowstone then we're going to place it in a diagonal pattern. So just going across, replacing the oak leaves. And you just want to do this all the way across for this wall. Lastly then, we're going to add a couple more torches by the bedrooms. So we're going to place our torches one block in on either side on the white wall. You can place glowstone in the walls of the bedrooms but we're just going to leave it as it is for now. And that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. So in the last part then we'll be able to finish off this floor and you can start by doing exactly the same on the floor above as well. Because that's going to be the same design as one we're on at the moment. 